What up gamers, Fens here here, and welcome back to Star Wars The Old Republic. So, uh, yeah, I'm just at the entrance of um, this place where Gil Ren is, just wanna be sure, because normally a cutscene happens, yeah. <laughs> here we go. Let's continue. Uh, what? Okay. Uh... What the heck just happened? Uh, it was just a black screen and that was it, just for a few seconds. Wait, is everything okay? Um, uh oh. Oh, there he is, okay. <laughs> um, I thought it would be here. Hey there, Gilren. I'm back. I'm back with Z's codes. Ha! Wish I could have seen the look on Z's face. I knew we good. Everything looks legit. Beautiful work. Z's code is like music. Yeah, yeah, whatever. Let, uh, yeah. Isolate the ones we'll need and hand the pad back to our hunter friend. Eidolon Security's transceiver codes are marked. Easy to spot. They'll disable the encryption programs. No problem. And that helps. How? They're going to get you access to all of Eidolon Security's confidential files. Once we get those, the Eidolon's personal business will be everybody's business. <laughs> Eat that, you ganks! <laughs> okay, so on to phase two of our plan to scrag Eidolon Security's rep and drive their clients away. Anuli? Gotta access Eidolon Security's data transceivers. Input these codes, then slice into Eidolon's network, download their files. Here's a holonet transmitter. Once you've accessed Eidolon's network, put this on the transceiver. It'll let Anuli upload the file straight to the Holonet. Eidolon Security's entire database is on the Holonet. That's bad. Real bad. For them. The transceivers are in the network access sector. Security's gonna be tight. And the Eidolon will have his best men protecting those transceivers. Feel free to kill as many as you want. Yeah, sure. Um, we got better armor. I shall accept. And wear that. Lost a cloak, but that's fine. At least uh, my outfit kind of matches in a way. Yeah, <laughs> at least we got that going on. Man, I really want myself a new helmet. I don't like my my open face here. I want a I want a visor. Some you know, I want something something to cover my face. All right, I like that one that one helmet I have um, before. Uh, the one that looks like it. You would wear it in the uh, the desert. Yeah, I like that one a lot more just because it makes me look more covered up. And you know, it's funny too, you know, if you're a subscriber to this game, um, you can have the option to like hide your helmets. But no, I, the helmets is my face, man. <laughs> Once I become a Mandalorian, in which I do hope that, you know, be, me doing this whole, whole um, bounty hunter stuff, I do hope that you know, it is true that you do become Mandalorian at some points in this in this uh in this story. Then yeah, I'm I'm just gonna be wearing that helmet all the way. And yeah, I did think more about the um what was it? Control M. I did think I did think more about the maybe the armor that I want. So the Mandalorian See, with these helmets here, I don't know, maybe I can just buy one of these instead. Because I imagine that these are a bit more, I guess, lore friendly in a way. Because, yeah, the Mandalorian, like the Old Republic Mandalorian helmets, they look way different than, you know, like the, the Mandalorian helmets, helmets that we get in the, like the Skywalker stuff. Except for this one. This one has a bigger, like... I guess window visor thing and then if you look at the infamous um yeah, if you look at the infamous one that definitely looks way closer to the you know the modern <laughs> to the modern um like skywalker mandalorian helmet and so i wonder if i if if you know Welcome. maybe for 
for lore purposes. Maybe I'll buy the buy the ones that look more Old Republic like. But then you got that one Old Republic armor that maybe. Uh, what was it called? Yeah, that, let me <laughs> let me look for it again. Um, yeah, I think it was. Uh, oh wait, we can buy this too. Oh wow, Mandalore the Ultimate. <laughs> we can we can become Mandalore. Okay. Um. Oh yeah, it's it's one of these. Yeah, this one here. And then you got something something like this. Which looks really close to the modern Mandalorian. So yeah, I don't know. I'm still thinking about it. I definitely want to want to keep my mind open because maybe that will save me um, some money. <laughs> uh, that's the class. I think I want to do with this first. So we're going to the. Oh wait, it's, I thought we were in the middle over here. No, we're over here. <laughs> okay, yeah, it's just along the way. We just got to go to the right side over there. But yeah, I'll definitely keep thinking about the Mandalorian armor once I become a Mandalorian. That's when I'll make my purchase. Uh, Stims vendor. What can I get for you? Actually, I do want to sell some stuff. Uh, sell that. Uh, did I had any more? <laughs> I do not know. But I know I don't really have any junk. Oh yeah, I believe that's really it. Okay. Come back anytime. Bye. Uh, let's go in here. Another Imperial officer probably wants to talk to me. <laughs> oh yeah, but I'll keep an eye out. I'll keep thinking about the the stuff. Hey, Kaburo the Hut. Oh wow. Uh, but yeah, I'll keep thinking about the Mandalorian armor. Maybe I can buy one that is cheaper and they'll save me some money instead of that $40 purchase I got to make to buy the <laughs> Infinite Bounty Hunter set. <laughs> Hi. Nice beard. It's very pointy. And oh, wow. I am Major Damaris with the Imperial Ministry of War. The Empire is contracting you for a dangerous mission, Bounty Hunter. Starting immediately. Yeah, this, this hut's got a scouter. <laughs> He's like me. Yeah, look, he's, he's just like me. He's got the, the thing. Um, yeah, over here. Uh, maybe let me use my other arm. Yeah, right over, right over there. He's got the same thing like me. We're both like brothers. Yeah, <laughs> that's funny. Um, what's this got to do with that hut? My associate, Kabura the Hut. His cartel operates the network access district. The central hub for the entire galactic holonet. Okay. This is a major threat to Imperial security. Breaching the hut's defenses and assuming this level of control should have been impossible. We need you to investigate. Immediately. All you want me to do is investigate? No. If it is within your power, you'll also eliminate this threat as quickly as possible. Your skills make you uniquely suited to deal with this. The main data center is almost impenetrable. A series of well-guarded consoles is spread throughout network access, each with its own time-sensitive code. Get all the codes, then hurry to the data center. Once you reach the data center access terminal with all of the timed codes, we'll contact you with further instructions. Is that clear? Get the codes, blast the consoles, call you when I'm there. <laughs> Best of luck. Yeah, sure. I gotta say, I, I am getting kind of tired of doing work for the Empire. Like, yeah, you know, as a mercenary, I would like to, you know, work for other people too. I feel like I'm always working for the, for the Empire. Like, other than the Great Hunt stuff, it's always been the Empire. I would like to work for... You know, other people, you know, have some variety in my employers. <laughs> uh, yeah, so we just got to go over here. All right. Sounds good. Uh, go to the right over here. Okay. I wonder when these droids are going to show up. 
Got a doctor. Okay. This is a very uh, steep ramp. <laughs> no stairs too. I mean, what if you accidentally fell and you start sliding down? <laughs> Okay, so far so good. It's been very friendly. You think after this gate, oh, I see enemies. Oh, what's wrong with you, Twi'lex? You okay? Something happened? Oh. Oh, this. <laughs> okay, you guys are... Okay. Guess we're going in. Uh... You guys want to help out, or...? Guess not. Scared of you. There we go. Nice. And that one's down. All right. Uh, I was not supposed to go here, by the way. <laughs> uh, wait, wait. I am. I am supposed to go here, but I need to go around. Oh boy, let's not fight the big guys. I only want to fight the... the small guys. Um, do we go here? Nice. Did that alert anyone special or... No, we're still good. Okay. This is one of them. Okay. You know what? You know what? Though, um... <laughs> yeah, you know what? Um... You know, ever since that previous video, I thought about making maybe a video dedicated to, like... Why I don't like the, the sequels. And you know, I want to come in a way where, you know, it doesn't seem hostile. Because yeah, I know like whenever I watch, um, you know, videos about people not liking the sequels. Or I would say maybe, maybe back then, it's been more apparent. Um, uh, but yeah, I would like to just talk about the sequels and why I don't like it, but in, in a non-aggressive way, I guess. Because, yeah, you know, I know a lot of people don't like it. You know, with me as well. But I know some are very passionate about it. Which, you know, is very understandable. You know, Star Wars is a... Is a long... Living franchise. There we go, nice. I think I want to go for, uh... These guys over here. Um, hold on. Just my camera. Okay. I am not hitting people properly. Should probably zoom out. Yeah. I would like to make a video about that. And maybe I, did, I already did. You know, I'm still recording this back on April 1st. <laughs> so maybe there's already a video out on that. Or maybe sometime in the future, I don't know. Still, I'm still recording this on April 1st. Um, <laughs> there is a medical droid here. Do you require medical attention? No, but I want to sell stuff. Be okay. Well. You didn't realize there was some droids here. Um... Okay, we gotta go to the right. Um, over here. I also wanna keep slaying some people though. I need to fight some more minions. Oh, here we go. Got some over here too. Okay, this water is safe. Fire. There we go. Nice, nice, nice. I'd rather not fight the big guy. Oh. Yeah, those war droids, I want to... 
Steer clear. Ooh. Oh, they're, they're respawning again. Nice. Yeah, I just want to fight these guys first. Nice. Just two more left. I think maybe we can fight some... Like, near our objective on the right over here. Alright. I'm gonna go across the water again, I think? Or is there another door that I was supposed to take? No. Oh, it's over here. Uh, I'm gonna pass by. Okay. You've input the codes. Excellent. Kabora. Then this is it. Hurry into the data center, locate the saboteur, and eliminate him. This better be worth it. The Ministry of War remembers those who serve the Empire. Gather us out. Oh, shoot. Oh, no, that was it. <laughs> I missed my bonus. Oh, well. My bad. Oh, look, just... Just one more, like a few more kills, and I'll be leveling up. Dang, I missed my bonus. <laughs> I thought maybe there'll be more to that. Oh, wait, what the heck? Uh, am I supposed to go here? Yes, I am. Okay. Just making sure. There's one behind me. An astromech. Nice. Alright, he's down. Just gonna fight these guys next. Hey, now 26. Dude, I'm... <laughs> I'm really starting to over-level now. Oh boy. Yep, even being a higher level than my... my count. Oh wow, this is a big place. Oh? It's gotta be you. What the heck am I doing now? You have arrived. Oh. I am Axis, the knowledge seeking. You see, I am completely untouchable. We will now come to an arrangement that benefits us both. I was sent here to kill you, not cut a deal with you. You will accept the arrangement. It is the only rational outcome. I am learning all things, all information, all secrets, all data in the galaxy. I will gladly relay all I learned to your empire. But I must remain here. That is the arrangement you are going to accept. I survive. And the Empire gains knowledge and advantage. This guy also reminds me of that other guy. You know, where he's just thinking about his options, but he feels like he thought about this a bit more. Um. What if I don't agree to the arrangement? Possible. The benefit is too great, therefore you will not refuse it. The arrangement depends on secrecy. The Huts will not tolerate my presence here. Therefore they must believe I have been killed. Large generators power this facility. You will overload all but the backup. The facility will be devastated and I will appear to have been killed. Um. Okay. Um. I came to kill you and I never leave a mission half done. Release your illusions. There is no benefit to killing me. And so long as my shields remain, it cannot be done. You will overload all of the primary generators, leaving the backup for me. And in return, I serve your empire. It is simple. The generators are well defended. Tread carefully and be prepared for the rewards of infinite knowledge. No, oh, yeah, I'm just gonna kill you, man. <laughs> so I just gotta overload all the generators around here. Sounds easy enough. 
Oh, snap. Uh, we got some people that just spawned in. Okay. I'm not just a pretty sidekick, Buster. Got a purple. I'm gonna loot that. Okay, there we go. Oh man, either way, we're gonna be fighting those big guys. Um, looks like it's better if I go to the right. Like it's shorter that way. That was not too bad. Okay, yeah, those droids are not too bad. Just sometimes it does take forever in a way. Nice, okay. At least we got that side mission done. We're not missing out on the bonus this time. go and yeah we just got to go over here and down here oh no big guy there we go oh my Cool. Uh, let me fight this guy. Nice. All right, there's, there should be one to my left over here, or I guess right. Nice. Now we just gotta overload the generators and. Yeah, but how do we do that? Oh, these two on the side? Oh, it looks like these two, okay. Um. And, uh, you're done. Nice. Oh, I gotta get back! Okay, that wasn't too bad. Wait, can I loot? Nice. Uh, we got another one over here. Wait, can I use the... I want to try out this. Oh, that wasn't... <laughs> that was not a lot. That was pretty disappointing. I must say. Nice. Let's go and loot and overload that. And then there should be uh, one more. If I go behind me. Oh my gosh. There we go. We got another big guy up ahead. Alright, big guy. Oh, I see it. I gotta save up my my heat on him. Wait, what is this? My level has been shifted to 25. I mean, as long as I am 26, then I'm okay. As long as I still got that 26, maybe if we go to uh, another planet. 
I'm guessing that's their way to balance. Yeah, I'm guessing that's their way to balance the uh like the combat so you don't like one hits everything if you're like level a hundred or something. <laughs> Is that they just uh, lower your level? I think that's fine. Now for the backup. Oh, there's no voice. And yeah, you said, uh... <laughs> you said there's no, uh... This is, uh... This is impossible. This should keep the Empire's secret secure. Okay. And then that's it? Or what? What is this? The elevator? Level one. Oh, jeez. Okay. Well, I think I did it. Axis. Wait, did I mess up? Uh, did I mess up? Do I gotta go back there again? I think I might have messed up. I can't use this right now? What? Um. Oh yeah, I feel like I messed up. <laughs> and apparently I can't use that right now. Um. Oh wait, this over here? Okay. <laughs> Good. <laughs> This is Major Damaros. We've registered a large explosion inside the data center. Has the target been eliminated? The saboteur was a fool. I wonder that he managed to surpass such thick defenses. Very strange. Kabura informs me that the hut's backup systems are rerouting data successfully. The Holonet survives for another day. I must report to the Minister of War. Your assistance in this matter will not be forgotten. Damaros out. Oh. I believe that's the final thing. Oh, we got a better helmet. Yes. Wait, what is that? Oh, yes, finally. Something a bit more, you know, soldier-like. Okay, I'm, I like that. I'm a fan. <laughs> okay. Um, yeah, I'm not sure just how fast this, this class story is. But yeah, I believe I, I beat all the, you know, the, I guess the other side stories, you know, the, the planet specific stories. Because yeah, he didn't like tell me to go see another person. But yeah, we'll see how fast this one is and then maybe if we can finish this in this video, I can just start off the next video back with Gil Ren. <laughs> That's how it usually goes, right? I think so. Oh. This guy is melee. Okay. We're going down sentry. Are we to fight ten of these guys? I mean, sure. Um. But how do, how does he not also get damage? The sentry. Did an AoE thing. Alright, there we go. Um, any more? Yep, there's more. Nice, nice, nice. Uh, but yeah, this is taking. Bit. How big is this area? Oh, it's not that big. Okay. No, yet. We'll definitely just finish it here. Like, finish um, all the stuff in this one video. I think that's fine by me. Nice. Oh, 
Okay, bonus mission is done. Alright, come on, sentry. Go down already. Nice. Oh, there's another sentry. You need something? Uh, no, I don't need something, Mako. Thank you for asking, though. Oh, what? Oh, am I full? I think I might be full. Yeah, am I full? I am full. No wonder I can't really collect much. Okay. Let's go use this. Okay, that should take care of Z's encryption programs, transmitters in place. Let me slice into Eidolon's network. Wow, this is tough. I knew he wasn't kidding. The Eidolon's Holonet guys know their stuff. Don't worry. I'll tell your boyfriend how impressive you were. <gasps> my voice! I told you he's not my boyfriend. It's been modulated. Keep that up and I'm gonna think you're jealous. Come on. Come <laughs> on. I'm in. I'll contact Nuli. Nuli, are you getting this? That's quite a data stream, huh? Beautiful. All Z's work. Symphony of math. Downloading the files onto the Holonet now. Stand by. Let's get out of here before more of the Eidolon's mercs show up. They're way too good with those blasters. Sure. Z was right. You must be oh. insane. Otherwise, why would you be here? Never trust a Bith. Crazy worthless hunter. Eliminate the threat! Now! Alright. Oh, I think I'm overheating. I can't, I can't use it. Nice. And I believe... Oh, there's waves of them. Okay. I can take you guys on. Nice. Uh, going to loot, whatever I can. I'll use my personal holocron. Oh, this. Uh, hold on, let me just go to the entrance. Or maybe over here, it's fine. Hey. He found us! It's too late, he's here! He found oh boy. Us. Um. Did he show up in person? Talk to me, Anuli. He's a specter, you can't escape a specter! We're all dead! Get away! Get away from me! No! No! Oh, that's sad. We have to get there! We have to save him! Um... Time to take out the Eidolon. We're coming, Anuli. No, oh, yeah, he's probably dead by now. <laughs> okay, so yeah, I believe that's it. Um, I think that's gonna lead me back to the... You know, the place, the... Where we usually meet them up at. Yeah, we gotta use the taxi to get there. So yeah, uh, we managed to uh, finish off the other story quests. You know, the side story quests. And then, yeah, I feel like we're about to finish up. Since, you know, we finished the other one. Usually, that means we're finishing up the class story quest here. And that we're about to fight the Eidolon. And I'm excited for that, man. Okay, continue on with the Great Hunt. Got this awesome new helmet, by the way. <laughs> I'm very much happy for that. Um, so yeah, guys. Uh, I believe... Um, let's see. Where am I going here? I'm going over here. Okay. <laughs> yeah, I'm going to go make my my way back there. Um, I'm, I'm going to try to maybe at least spawn or like... Yeah, start at the entrance of the place we usually meet up with. With, uh, with Gelrin and Anuli. But uh, yeah. Um, that's it for now, guys. That's game.